Welcome back and today we're going to be covering the timing cover and front main seal on a 12 valve Cummins. Uh, specifically mine is a 96 Dodge Ram 3500. So one thing I want to start off with is I really didn't want to knuckle down and buy the special tool that you're supposed to have to uh, get the, the seal in there and set the depth properly. But after I saw the condition of the front main this is the front of the crankshaft so this is where the front main seal rides and there are three very clear wire rings on it actually there's four at different levels the ones that are up here tells you that whoever was putting the seal on there was doing it wrong back here is where it should be it's mandatory at this point. My seal kit came with, so this little collar is supposed to go on the outside of the timing cover to set the depth where the seal should go up to. All right. We've got the seal itself with little plastic spacer ring on there. We'll cover that a little bit later. And it also came with a repair sleeve and this is just by happenstance I didn't mean to order this but I ordered it before I took everything apart and realized how bad the end of my crankshaft is and if you're familiar with engines at all you know that replacing a crankshaft for one little thing that has nothing to do with the actual functionality of the engine just because it's making a seal leak it's not a very fun thing so with that having worn grooves in it just because of its high mileage, we slip this guy on there, and this is made to seat against the new seal, just like it's brand new. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, we're going to remove the uh, front main seal from the 12 valve Cummins. And just for the record, they always go out the back. I'm just going to take a little punch and tap it out. There it is. Now we just got to clean everything up. Alright guys, so this is the timing cover for the 12 valve Cummins, and as you can see, they did some artful paint, spray paint work while it was on the truck. I don't know, doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. There was so much grease and crud on here, we couldn't even tell if it was painted at all when we first got to it, but this, I don't know what you'd call it, coyote tan color is stock factory on a whole lot of them uh they actually sealed this on here so i couldn't unscrew it and if i did i was gonna break it so i figured for now i'm gonna leave it alone so this is the inside of the timing cover and specifically this is the area where our seal goes now you might notice that the seat seal surface of the rest of it looks pretty rough and you would be right uh i'm not exactly sure what they used but it guarantee it wasn't permatex it more like had the consistency of liquid nails uh so i'm gonna have to clean this up even better and permatex it again but uh so there's that now um your surface in here and on the main shaft, you're going to want to clean up with an emery cloth or, you know, scotch, not an emery cloth, a, a scotch bright pad, basically. It doesn't need to be aggressive. You just want to clean any built up gunk off of it. You're not trying to machine anything. You don't want to sand it down. You just want to clean it off. So I just give it a little squirt of brake parts cleaner, and I mean just a little. Scrub it out, then wipe it out do the same thing to the uh, the main shaft but uh, I think I'm going to clean this stuff up a little more first 
I'll spare you from that. We'll be back. So, got this a little more cleaned up. It'll still need a little wipe, but it's good. Cleaned out this surface. So the next step is going to be to put this guy on from the outside because the gas, the seal, sorry, the seal in here always goes on from the inside. So, in our case, It actually doesn't need to be tapped into place. I thought I was going to have to tap it in, but that's going to sit right in there. So I'm going to have to find me a couple pieces of wood. I will be right back. Alright, so a couple things to note on here is this seal already has this red coating on here. If they have this, you do not use anything else. You install this dry, okay? If your seal is bare metal, like, you know, this color or out here, just shiny steel, you need to use Loctite 545 just a tiny bit around the outside rim here. Put it together. That'll hold it in place till it's ready to come back out. Uh, another thing is you want to leave this plastic sleeve in there. That is actually to help aid when you install this on the truck. You push everything on and then it's going to pop this sleeve out and leave the seal sitting perfectly on the shaft. Now it still needs to sit, um, depending on the manufacturer, anywhere from 2 hours to 12 hours to make sure it seals onto that shaft right. So always check your instructions. All right, so that guy is going to go there. And this is the installer tool that I really didn't want to spring for, but when you got to do it, you got to do it. So the installer tool has enough room for that plastic ring to sit inside and still be able to push this in. All right. I decided to hammer this one in and not use the press. I'm going to be gentle and use a small hammer. All right, next step. All right, so we're gonna put the uh, protective sleeve on the front main shaft right now. Unfortunately, it's raining, so uh, I've got Tommy running the camera. He's gonna show that while I'm getting my back soaked and trying to put that on. So this is the sleeve, this is the front of the crankshaft, where the front main seal rides. So you want to put this on dry, that's what the instructions say to do. I've got my special tool here to push it on. I just got to find my bolt holes. I'll get there, I promise. I believe in you. He actually threaded in for once. Something worked. Alright, and then you want to just try to go as evenly on here as you can. First snug them up. And once you're snug, give them I would say, you know, quarter turn each and just go back and forth until this plate bottoms out against the shaft. Welcome to my 
my party We're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink who can catch me when I'm falling Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars Crashing in my car, wake up in a bar I'll be a superstar, just like my avatar This world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir Yeah Shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on safe So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way But we know calculus Damn, ain't that fabulous Can't wait to apply all those mathematicus But we can't get a job that pays us enough One of those bolts for the timing cover is tore up, but uh, found another one that should thread in and fit. Um, it's just going to be temporary to get the gasket to set. So should work. I had my suspicions when I was cleaning that timing cover that they used liquid nails instead of uh, any kind of Permatex or RTV. I was right. It's taking me minutes per bolt just to get this stuff cleaned off with a wire wheel. So, most definitely not what's supposed to be on there. Good job, numbnuts! I got RTV on there and uh, I'll explain why I put it on both sides of the gasket here in just a few but something that's important to do is make sure that this plastic collar stays on that steel and then when you go to put this on there you push it in and this plastic collar is gonna pop through so I'm gonna see if Tommy can try to zoom in on that while I'm lining this up how do you zoom in? What? how do you zoom in? Just do that. If you get too close, it'll get blurry anyway. Ah, 
we go. That's it. So we're just gonna snug all these bolts down until the RTV starts to squish out just a tad, and then we're gonna leave it there for an hour. And then after an hour goes by, we'll come back around and torque them down. So I know you're asking why would you use RTV and a gasket and the simple answer is because both the mating surface of the engine and the pan are both distorted and out of whack and I just can't take a risk of breaking a seal up there on the timing cover while I'm driving down the road. So. It's a directional mic. <laughs> So anyway, just to cover all my bases, not to mention the fact that that gasket is a couple years old, and I did wipe it down, but like I said, I'm literally being triple careful on this part of it. So um, once that cures up, it's all done. So I mean, there's nothing else to really show you guys. So that's how you install a timing cover and a front main seal with a repair sleeve. So stay tuned for more exciting content. Take care. Welcome back to the shop. So today we're going to be covering front main seal and timing cover gasket for uh, the Cummins 12 volt, 12 volt, Jesus. So full disclosure, just so you're aware, um, in the process of making this video, there were two different seals. Uh, the first one I decided to use my hydraulic press on and yeah, I squished the hell out of it. <laughs>